It's been 18 months now since I left my full-time job and uh, followed a dream. I left a full-time job uh, with a you know, good salary, packages, a, a grip package, uh, all the benefits. And uh, I left, I gave it all up because I wanted to follow my dream. And that dream has always been actually to run uh, a business. Uh, I actually never knew what that business would be. Somebody once said to me, no, you'll know what it is when it comes along. And around about sort of uh, six, seven years ago, I discovered photography. I was probably just like, started like everybody else, just kind of a, just a bit, bit of a hobbyist. And then when I moved here to uh, the States, five years ago, I thought, well, maybe one day this could be it. This could be the thing that actually I could start a business and uh, um, you know, run a business with. And um, pretty quickly, actually, it kind of evolved into uh, something more than just a, you know, a hobbyist uh, that just could earn a few bucks on the side. 18 months ago, I, I decided I'm going to go in, all in full time uh, to be a photographer. And it's been nothing short of amazing. Uh, of course, you know, I couldn't do it without the support of my lovely wife and my family. And, um, you know, it's been just countless hours, um, uh, just so much work that's gone into it, but it really feels like it's starting to pay off. The studio's getting busier and busier all the time. Uh, I'm getting some great feedback. Honestly, there's been no regrets at all leaving uh, the, my full-time job to start a photography business. So that's been awesome. And I would really encourage anybody Anybody at all that has a dream, that wants to follow it, just just find a way. Just make it happen, find a way, because trust me, it is the best. If you can find a way to support yourself, um, of course, yeah, you're going to need some help initially, um, but if you can find that way to, you know, to make it happen, then please, I encourage you, just do it. Do it, do it, do it. And what's the worst that can happen? You can just go back into your other job, right? Get into a full-time job. So I started this vlog because it was really, um, it, it's pushed me, it's, it's put, put me out of my comfort zone and I've always believed um, that it's good to push yourself and to get out of your comfort zone. In fact, if I can get 10 subscribes from this vlog alone, then I'll, it will encourage me to do another one. So, um, yeah. So that was the uh, first shoot over and done with. Uh, it went really well actually, man and wife couple. Uh, wanted some headshots for their uh, professional uh, profiles uh, on LinkedIn and for doing proposals, etc. So it uh, went really well. Uh, I've got Matt, Matt coming in a second, do some filming. We're gonna do a little uh, video. Um, not this video, but just another video actually. We're gonna do some interviews for uh, Ariana, our makeup girl. So that's gonna be next. Uh, before they turn up, I thought I'd give you a little look, walk around the uh, studio. Okay, so this is the, um, the waiting area. Um, let's say we've got a nice kitchen area here, a uh, little beer fridge. I mean, use this wall here to uh, project our, uh, sometimes I protect like images on their client images, and, uh, but it's really used for TV so that uh, people can chill out and watch TV before their session. And then in here is the studio. So I'm really excited actually what I've done with the place here. Uh, we've just actually installed these things here, which is uh, it saves a ton of space. Uh, anybody that's running the studio, I totally recommend it. Uh, because uh, before I had kind of like frames and um, stands, and it, it used up a lot of space essentially on the floor. So I'm really uh, excited about the fact that we've got this now installed, which is really efficient use of the space. It allows me to switch out backdrops really easy. Um, in here is the bathroom. Obviously, we did the floor, and uh, so yeah, it's all looking lovely and awesome so uh, really excited about it and um, yeah so next uh, we've got uh, Ariana coming who's going to be doing some makeup for the next client but uh, we're also going to do like a little uh, interview for Ariana and talk to her, her about her makeup etc um, so and that, we'll use that on her Instagram and uh, her website so uh, looking forward to it all right cool cheers hey Hi. how you doing good, this, is, how are you? this is Ariana everybody yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. You ready for today? Yes, I am so excited. Hi, I'm Ariana, and I'm the founder and owner of The Glam Boss. So some people will typically, if they're not used to wearing makeup and it's their first time being photoed or it's their special wedding day, um, what my clients typically, I have to explain to them, is that I am going to be putting more makeup on you than your typical day um, because of the fact that you're being photoed. 
And then with that being said too, like clients that typically aren't used to wearing makeup, um, I do have to go a little darker on certain products such as like your foundation. Yes, I'll still ensure that it matches you, but at the same time, we do have to go a little darker in order to ensure that you're not gonna look washed out in your pictures and that it photos beautifully. So when Stuart reached out to me, I was actually looking to partner with the photography business, so it just worked out in my favor, it was perfect timing, and then we met each other and we realized we work well together, we have similar interests, um, and the same passion in the sense that we love making people feel great about themselves, so what better than to partner together? <laughs> Cut. Needed. <clears throat> well, great day today. Uh, a little bit unexpected as well. I was meant to have three shoots, but end up being four shoots. Anyway, great day, extremely busy. Um, I'm physically and mentally exhausted. Uh, looking forward to some dinner and settling down for the evening. And uh, probably having a few more of these, I think. But uh, cheers, anyway. Cheers. Cheers.